Hi guys, good afternoon. I'm Christopher. Through my company, Care Chooser, we provide families with quality care. Our thing is consistent care, so we don't do the agency thing where we send in different carers each day. It'll be the same carer each day, consistent care. Oh, my microphone isn't plugged in. Let me just plug that in. Oh, I forgot about that. Right, that's better. So, I'm going to be talking about dementia. Didn't quite have time to fill it in yesterday, so I've made some time this afternoon for that. I'm going to continue on the theme of funding, which I've been talking about this week. We've been talking about equipment funding. Now I'm going to be talking about care funding. Now there's two different um, strands for funding. There's social care funding from the council, and there's health care funding through the NHS. Now dementia is a social disease, which means more often than not, it falls under social care, which means you pay, rather than NHS healthcare, which is publicly funded. Now personal care, and daily activities, things like dressing, washing, help with the laundry, housekeeping, shopping, making meals, these all fall under social care, which falls under the council, which means these things will be publicly funded by you unless you have a means test and are eligible. The threshold is currently £23,500 in cash and investments, not including your house for home care. Um, for care homes, they do take in the value of your house. Now, NHS support is free, but this needs to be for a health care condition rather than for daily activities. Uh, so not everyday living tasks. So what does this include? Things like physio, eyesight, hearing, foot care, speech and language, mental health falls under NHS funding, mobility, terminal illness, um, rapidly deteriorating health, long-term medical conditions, um, things like breathing, continence, and communication. Now, NHS funding is called Continuing Healthcare, CHC, and it's for complex needs. It's quite a gray area. But a diagnosis of dementia doesn't qualify your loved one for this NHS funding. In fact, most of the time it will come under social care funding, which means you'll need to pay for it privately. Um, so how to go about this CHC NHS funding? You need to have an assessment with your local commissioning group. It's a healthcare need, so you need to have an assessment via the GP or a social worker. Don't talk about everyday things that your loved one can't do. This is what most people do do in the needs assessment. They talk about the things that their loved one can't do, such as they can't dress anymore, they can't wash themselves anymore, they can't take themselves to the toilet anymore. But these things are everyday living tasks. They will fall under social care, which means you'll be publicly funding it, and not health care. So you need to be thinking about the health care medical needs that your loved one has, rather than the everyday things that they can't do in order to get NHS funding rather than social care funding. So, as I say, dementia is a social disease. It's classed as a social disease in this country. Therefore, usually, in the UK, usually falls under social care funding, which means you pay, rather than NHS funding, which is public funding. So as I say, personal care and daily activities of living, they will fall under social care and under your council and not the NHS. Um, there is a really good website which helps and supports people on getting CHD funding. Um, I'll drop that in the comments below. It's called Care To Be Different. So check that out. Um, if you need any more support or if you've got any questions about this, then drop me a message below and I'll see drop me a message or a comment below even and I'll see if I can help and support you. Um, share this video with anyone that needs to see it. Anyone, if you know someone that has dementia, 
or a loved one that has dementia, then um, share this with them, share them with, with their family so they can know about the different types of funding and how to trigger it. Um, so tomorrow is Friday. It's Friday's live is on behaviour. So if you have any questions about behaviour, people living with dementia or children, then drop me a comment below and I'll briefly uh, look into that on tomorrow's live. Um, yeah, have a great afternoon, everyone.